Seems we got cut off a little bit early there on the last uh, video. <clears throat> let's continue from where we left off. Or actually, we'll, let's continue from the last paragraph down here. The way in which genetics has perceived has been perceived by African Americans, Native Americans, Jews, or other communities concerned by historical genetic research about their identity is part of a mythical reconstruction of history. The case of the Lemba is one of the most frequently cited because genetic investigations were an essential step in the elaboration of their Jewish myth of origins. In recent years, in respect to the construction of African Jewish identities, genetic findings have entered the discourse of history. For societies whose claim of origins harbors a certain ambiguity, the notion of imagined genetic communities developed by Bob Simpson is one more element that intertwines with mythical realities and historical metaphors. <clears throat> And that will conclude uh, chapter eight. Our next chapter will be chapter nine in part three of Africa, Judaism and African Jews. And it'll be on African Jews in Western and Central Africa. And I would just like to um, I would just like to say that the first thing that a babe, the first thing that a newcomer. Uh, should know is Christ and the Bible. There's no doubt about it. That's the first thing. A newcomer, a babe, should know Christ and the Bible in its historical context, in its proper historical context. And I advise, I recommend highly for ones and ones to read material like this. Okay, there is nothing wrong, all right? There's nothing wrong with reading books like this. Okay, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with going outside of the Bible to research history as long as it does not contradict, rather coincides or relates with the scriptures. All right. Um, this is not no ism or schism, you know, and it's not about being closed minded on one's trod. Okay, let the Holy Spirit of Yeshua Guide the eye to the right historical texts, looking outside of the Bible. Ask Yahweh in and through Yeshua to lead one to the right material, to the right books. Don't be like the foolish Western Christian world that rejects knowledge just because it's not in the Bible. Oh, that's not in the scriptures. I can't read that. That's not in the Bible. You know, these closed-minded, ignoramus, foolish, you know, people that you know they they their bias and ignorance just won't allow them to to research you know and there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with books like this you know so this is not no no ism and schism you know ism or schism or anything like that um you know so don't be like the western christian world that rejects knowledge that rejects truth and um Ask yourself, does this relate with the scriptures? Does it coincide or does it contradict the scriptures? Well, if it does contradict the scriptures, then you don't need to read it. But if it relates with the scriptures, then read it. Read it, I say. Read it. Don't limit yourself. Don't let your biasness, don't let your bias and your ignorance hinder you from furthering your research. This is not an ism or schism. It's history. All right. This is history. So I can think. I mean, so, you know, um, once can think whatever they want to think. I will continue to take a drink of this knowledge. And with that said, you know, I just want to wish the I and them a peaceful Shabbat. Um, a healthful and peaceful Shabbat. And may Jah continue to guide. And with that, I just want to say salam.